By its nature, tennis is an individual sport. You against your opponent. On the collegiate level, it's about the team. A concept Tyson Kwiatkowski had to embrace. You know, the last time I played on a team was baseball when I was 13. Ty was the top recruit in the country, and he has just continued to grow and develop um, into a leader within our team. But definitely helps me to get better at being on, uh, on the court with him, because it doesn't take a point off. He pushes you, he'll run every ball down and make you hit another shot. So it definitely helps having him on the team. Ryan Shane was a blue chip recruit who, like Tyson, had to adjust to the college game. At six foot four, Shane's game is about power. His serve has been clocked at 130 miles an hour. Definitely am not afraid to go after my shots. My game revolves around my serve and forehand. Uh, I've definitely come a long way where, you know, I hit a big ball, but I, I'm aiming for bigger targets until I get the right shot and being much more patient. So, yeah, I hit the ball hard, but I think I'm a lot smarter now, too. He started to really embrace the culture and the team aspect, and that's why Ryan has been able to develop into a national champion by the time he was in his third year from a non-starter. It was amazing to watch Ryan just stay focused and take it one match at a time and for us to win the team championship and then for Ryan to win the individuals after that is a pretty amazing accomplishment for him. That NCAA singles title transformed Ryan Chain from role player to a legit star. After he won the NCAA championship this year, the first thing he said to me is I finally won a big tournament. And I said, well, Ryan, you chose an awfully big moment to do it. Coming back, obviously people are looking at you and you have a target on your back. And I've learned to play with that and I think it's made me a, a much better player. I don't think I've seen anybody in my 20 years of being in the sport embrace a new position that has to deal with enormous pressure better than Ryan. The way Ryan hits the ball is, is unlike anyone I've ever seen before. To have Ryan's talent on the court and then his friendship off the courts is uh, pretty special for me. They take great pleasure in each other's success, which at a, in a sport like ours um, can be a huge challenge. We all have one ultimate goal and that's to win you know, NCAA championships. And to do that, we all have to push each other and accept our role. And I think everyone on the team does that extremely well. No one is selfish. Everyone understands that we're doing something bigger than ourselves. Being a part of that team again is kind of understanding how um, an individual can contribute to a team environment. You know, it really is a team effort every time we step on the court. Two top 10 players on a team that could win a third NCAA title in four years. Another national title is their ultimate goal. Uh, nobody can motivate themselves on their own 365 days a year, so to be part of a team and a culture that you really believe in, it's been a great journey. I've been really blessed to have players like Ty and Ryan as an example.